Hey everyone, a rare chapter two for an Admiral review. Doesn't happen that often here. I can think of three, maybe four times in all the years I've been doing it. But I felt this was very important. The nine millimeter polycase Ruger ARX review. I'm gonna give away some of it for you if you haven't seen it, sorry about that. Part of the video, we used a 16 inch clear block, took three shots with a Glock 19, and we had three pass throughs, one block. Now I had just some water jugs behind that uh, over here in the garage and we only recovered one bullet. So the other two are out here in the backyard. Maybe they found uh, a coyote or a rabid possum. We have a lot of those around here. So lost two of the three bullets, and that's very frustrating for me because of the amount of time it takes to put into this. But the bigger piece of frustration is for you folks. You come to these videos looking for data points, and you left that video missing a big chunk of information. So I had an opportunity to resolve that. Just a few days ago, I was wrapping up another review, the Underwood Extreme Defender. And that is also a non-expanding round like the ARX. So I decided as I was setting it up to use two of the clear blocks. We had 32 inches of gel. And I'll tell you, that review had a much different outcome using two blocks as opposed to using one. So I'll probably have to use two blocks moving forward for everything. But in any event, as I was cleaning that up, it kind of hit me. I said, wait a minute, I've got two blocks setting here. Why don't I try the ARX, three more shots with the Glock 19, and let's see what happens. While I had the two blocks still set up from the Extreme Defender review, really glad I, I did this, took that initiative with the Glock 19 and the ARX. Three shots, and the second block really wasn't necessary, at least I don't think. We have 15 inches, 15 and a half, 16 and a quarter, and that one is just barely poking into the second block. Move that second block out of the way so we can get a better perspective. Now you can see that one of these shots just about poked all the way through, and I'm gonna guess that had that second block not been there, that one would have been a pass through. But these other two, even with this perspective, it looks like they're touching the back of the block, not quite there. Cavitation, I have to work backwards on this because there's so many shots, so many tracks in here right now. But even though these turned base forward, there's no difference in cavitation with the ARX compared to the first review and compared to the Extreme Defender because some folks are going to ask, these bigger cavitation tracks are from the Defender, not the ARX. Confirming penetration depths, 15, 15 and a half, and 16 and a quarter inches. By the way, these are from the same box of ammo that I used for the first review. I did not chronograph these. So now we have some of that missing information. The gap has been filled to some extent, and I hope that helps with your evaluation of the ARX. As to why this happened, how it happened from one test to the other, I don't know. The block you saw a moment ago that captured all three of those bullets, the same block I used for the first review. I'd cut it up, melt it, recast, recycled that. That's what I do. That's what everyone does with the clear gel. It's set for a couple of weeks, more than ample time to cure, bring it back out here, it calibrates, and look what happens. So just keep in mind, as I've said before, over the years with these videos, these tests, they are not definitive. Anything can happen. They are just representations, and that's also what we should expect on the street with our carry ammo. Keep that in mind. Thanks for watching.